Hey guys, excuse the weird setup. I'm filming this during my lunch break and this is the only time that I have <laughs> this week to get this done. So I am filming a, a video. What does the title say? I'm filming my favorite Procreate brushes and I'm gonna show you guys how I use them. I don't think I'm gonna film a full blown job with me. I think I'll just attach like a speed paint um, towards the end of it so you guys can look at it and then hopefully eventually if you guys want to see me actually draw with these brushes then I can do that. I'm always curious what brushes people use so hopefully this will be useful for you as well. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. I have 30 minutes left in my lunch break. So the brush that I use for sketching, I use the um, it's imported, it's Lotus Bubble. She has a bunch of brushes. Not all of these are hers, but um, this one is for sure. And so I use Gesture Sketch mostly um, from Lotus Bubble. And this one just gives you really cool, sketchy gesture lines, almost as if you're working with like a charcoal pencil a little bit. Um, and I really love it because you can get a lot of volume and energy out of this pencil. You know, if I was drawing like a little stick person, <laughs> like I do love it. And then this is what it looks like kind of blown up. And then this is what it looks like pretty skinny. So I use this brush a lot when I am creating gesture, especially when I'm just studying. Um, I love the way that it flows. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't have much to say about these brushes, but <laughs> you guys were curious, so I'll show you. And then the other one that I use, I think a bit more frequently, is from Reek, and he has two custom brush sets. Um, he has one that just imports as custom, and then he has sketch brushes. I don't really use these ones as much as I use um, his custom one. Um, he has a couple of sketch brushes in the custom brush pack that you get from his website. He has the sketch pencil, sketch pencil texture one, and three. <laughs> um, and they both work a little differently. So this is three. Do you see that? Hopefully you can. It has like this really cool, I don't even know, like dispersion feel towards the end of its um, brush pack. It, like, it kind of looks like um, watercolor a little bit, and I love that. And then he has um, the, I guess I can show you number one. Should I clear this? Is that helpful? Let's clear this. So this is number one. This is the one that I use most frequently, I think. <laughs> and then number two looks like, or I guess number zero looks like this. Yeah, so I definitely use one the most. Um, I actually prefer using his brush pack, specifically these ones on in Clip Studio Paint. Um, I've never used it on the iPad, but I use it on my XPP pen, and I feel like I just have a better, they, they operate very differently, and I, I don't know if it's the tablet itself that makes the brushes behave differently. So I don't know if it's Clip Studio Paint or X, the XPP pen. Um, I guess if you were to download the Clip Studio Paint on your iPad, you would have a better understanding of that. But my iPad's pretty tiny, and so because of Clip Studio Paint's like interface, I find it too clunky to use on my like standard iPad. I don't have a Pro or anything. For sketching default brushes, I actually enjoy. I haven't used it in a while. Which one is it? Oh, yes. So for default brushes, I enjoy the 6B pencil. Um, it's under sketching. And it just kind of moves like a pencil. Um, yeah. And I like this a lot for sketching. If When I first started um, using Procreate, this is the brush that I use. The, pe the lines aren't as like smooth as like, they don't have like the soft edges that you get from the gesture sketch or Reeks brush, but I think this for sketching, it gets the purpose done. Again, like your sketches are meant to be super quick and super fast, and doesn't really matter what pencil you use. I don't know, it's up for debate. 
Um, I just like the way that the other ones feel, but this is also like a really good option. So next I'm gonna show you guys the brushes that I use for line art. So for custom brushes for line art, I use a couple pencils depending on my mood and what I'm line arting on. So if I'm line arting on my iPad, I typically always use the thin liner. And this again is part of Lotus of Bubbles custom or her brush pack. Um, and this is what I use for line art. I like it because the line isn't too hard and you can get super dark bold lines. And if you were to make it smaller, you can get super thin lines as well. But there is a sense of like softness to the lines. I don't like my lines too hard, at least for my style. Um, and typically I end up painting over the lines anyways um, when I'm doing rendering. And so uh, super hard lines I find more awkward to paint over versus like softer lines. So yeah, this is what I use for line art. Um, sorry, my dog. <laughs> is right next to me. Yeah, so this is what I use for line art. It's like pretty cool, right? I'm doing a really bad job right now because I'm sitting at a really awkward angle just so you guys can see this. <laughs> I'm sitting on my floor. But yeah, this is what I would use for line art. So for default line art brushes, I actually really enjoy using the technical pen. And so it's weird because for some reason, if I'm using a custom brush, I don't actually wanna use a custom brush that has like super hard edges, but I love the technical pen. There's something about the way that it flows and it's taper. I love the way it tapers. Is that taper there? Oh, it's so good. Like I just, I love the taper. And so if I'm using a default brush uh, pack in Clip Studio Paint or in Procreate, then I'm almost most definitely using the technical pen. I don't think I use any other pen that's um, defaulted here. I think it just gives you great, 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 beautiful lines. Again, I'm not the best or the strongest in line art work or just my line art in general, um, but this is like undefeated. Like it's, it's just so cool. So for base colors, I use um, a default brush. Like I don't really have a custom one that I use because for my flats, all you need is something super opaque. Like I don't think it matters much. So other than that, like you can use like your standard, like, well, not really, cause it's just a little bit of like, it's not super opaque. So whatever custom blush, depending on your style, I will say this, depending on your style, whatever, custom brush for the most part, you don't want it to have this weird like gradient effect because then whenever you lay colors on top of it, you're going to have um, this effect that might be kind of hard to control. Depending on your art style, some people have art styles where they don't mind this. Um, but for me, if I'm doing flats or base colors, I want my flats to be 100% flat. Like I don't want this weird gradient. So under calligraphy, I use script the most because it has, um, again, a nice little tapering edge to it. And so whenever you're coloring in, let's say, okay, let's actually have an example here. So I'm gonna grab the technical pen and let's just draw a square. Let's go back to painting round brush. Do you see how weird that is? I mean, this could work for um, maybe skin tones, but I like to have a flat color at the bottom of it and then build on top of this. And I feel like this is just too unpredictable for me. Um, so this isn't my style. Now, if this is your style, this could be a great flat option, but for me, not so much. And so what I do use is I go to calligraphy and I actually like using script and this gives me a really cool um, brush because it has like a really thin edge so you can get those like corners pretty good. Ignore my lack of shading in the lines. And you can fill in pretty quickly and you have a nice thick base color, which I appreciate. Um, also, I just do this, which is also why I don't care because I just kinda, and I just do that, <laughs> you know? Um, instead of actually like coloring it in individually. If I wanted to create a shadow with a hard edge to it, 
so it's purple. And then I go, it's just, you can use studio pen if you want, sure. Or you can go into calligraphy and grab scripts and do that, you know, so shadows. For my eraser, I typically always use the brush pen and that's because it gives you this really cool effect. Um, it doesn't always fully erase. And if you look at my art, sometimes you can tell that I have this really cool, I don't even know what to call it, but I just like the way that it erases. It's kind of messy. So if you want a clean eraser, uh, if you want a clean erase, then obviously just grab like script or a studio pen. But I like the way that this erases. It gives you a really fun texture to play with or a really cool edge. And I love that. And then to smudge, um, I am using a custom brush. So under Haley Cat, she has this perfect brush and um, she has this brush called Meow Mix and I don't really use it to paint, but I use it to smudge. And I just love the way that this brush smudges. Like, oh, it's so good. I bet it would look so, because Clip Studio Paint has such a really cool smudge feature. However, this brush pack for Haley Cats isn't available in Clip Studio Paint. Actually, the main reason why I still render on the iPad and I haven't fully transitioned over to Clip Studio Paint or the XPP pen for like daily art is because of this specific brush pack. This brush pack, got it from our Patreon account, but so I think it was free for me, but if, yeah, if you aren't her patron, then you have to download it from the internet somewhere, and I think it's $5. Um, and this brush pack is hands down the brush pack that I use to render, like everything here. I don't really leave this too often. So I can show you an example of a piece that I made fully rendering with Haley Cat's Perfect Pack. And then of course the thing that I'll be using or the art that I'll be creating after this, whatever it may be, I am going to be mostly using this brush pack. So quickly I'll run through it. Um, for this brush pack, I use her, her fluffy brush for blush. Um, and so, this is the brush that I use for blush. It's like your standard soft brush. I don't know what the difference is between this brush and the standard soft brush that you would find under airbrushing. Perfect. This is the brush that I love to render out hair. And so if I, let's try and draw some hair real quickly. Okay, so this is her hair, right? It's not the cutest thing, who cares? So now I gotta put on flats. Um, let's add flats real quickly. What color, let's make it red. Cool, okay, so this is our character, this is her hair. Um, what I use, Haley Perfects, Haley Cat Perfects brush for it is that I use this brush to create the strand effect that I have in my um, artwork. And so I just kind of paint in strands and I love this brush. And if there's a Clip Studio Paint like default brush that can do this, please let me know because I just kind of go in and I just create strands. And this is like super messy. <laughs> But this is exact. This is the brush that I use for that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just love the way it fades. It has really cool texture to it. Um, I love that it's like super dark. It can get super dark if you want it to, but it can also be like super light. It gives you so much versatility, and the way that it just flows out of your Apple Pencil, it's just I love it so much. So I'm gonna show you a proper example. I'll show you this one. So to create um, these like individual like hair strokes here, that's the brush pack that I use is the Haley Cat's Perfect Brush. Like it just makes your hair look so, I don't know, 
I just, I don't know, I like it. It gives it a really cool fantasy look and I really appreciate it. Um, let's see, they have another example. Oh, this is a good example. So I like her hair in this. Oopsie, sorry. Again, I am using Haley Cat's Perfect Brush Pack here for 99% of this hair. Besides the flat color that I put on top, I like section out the hair and I use that brush pack. If you guys want a hair tutorial, I can give you that. Um, just let me know in the comments below. I've been thinking about it, but it's I'm sure it'd be so time consuming. So if you guys want it, I'll do it. But otherwise, <laughs> I won't do it. Oopsie. And then it also works for braids as well, or like dreads. Um, I did it here. It's actually how I sectioned off her hair here is by using that brush pack. And I just kind of went in and it kind of gives you, it gives you hard definition without making the hair look super um, structured and intense. It's like a really cool flow. And so I appreciate it a lot. So back to our busted example. That's what I use the most for hair. And then what I use for flyaways or smaller hair details is Haley Cat's whiskers. So to create like smaller hair strands, uh, whiskers is the brush that I use, especially for like, I love doing flyaways, maybe a little too much. And so for flyaways, I'm like using this brush pack mostly for that. Or honestly, if I'm feeling lazy, I would just use the select tool and just kind of like fill in. And get like really cool shapes like that. So that's kind of how I do hair. Um, and then also if I were to create like the rim of shine that you see in a lot of art styles, especially ones that are inspired from anime, um, I grab, I put the layer on screen and then I go back into my custom brush pack. And honestly, you could probably use like your standard um, round brush for this. Where is it? Under painting? But it's just too far for school. So I go down into in my imported brushes and I use Lotus Bubbles. So again, for like the ribbon of shine, I just kind of, I select the color, I select the base color of the hair and I just kind of go like this. And that's like my shine, you know? And then you're like, well, that looks kind of trash, but I go in with the brush pen to erase and I create the shapes that way. So again, I love the way the brush pack creates shapes. And so I kind of go in and I'll create shapes like this. You know, keep in mind the sections that you have. So like, this is a section, so maybe I'll erase it. And I'll do a little bit of this and then erase that. And then if you're still not feeling the drama, I will go up into liquify and I'll just push and pull the highlight to make it look even more intense and more dramatic and create more organic random shapes, depending on how like wild I want to get. Um, and then if the screen color isn't bright enough, then I'll go into hue saturation. I'll just like brighten it and like play around, you know, be like make it different colors, whatever. And that's, <laughs> I don't know why I just showed you all that. <laughs> okay, my uh, camera just stopped recording. Um, so essentially I mentioned while you guys were gone that for like to add texture to hair or to any piece, I like using Max U Gouache Clean. It's under, um, that one is a custom brush pack. I think L Loish uses this brush pack a lot. However, this brush pack is kind of expensive. It's like 30 bucks and you do get a lot in it. Hold on, where is it? Hello? Oh, you get a lot in it. And you also get the smudge pack as well. Sometimes too much is just too much. Inside of my favorites, I use one of these three brushes and that's just to create texture. So I use it a lot in here. But sometimes, honestly, I'm feeling even lazy to do that. So I just use Haley Cat's paw or claws. And it kind of gives you a very similar effect. This is 
claws. So that texture, and then this is paw, or, you know, just for some texture. And this is the Max U clean brush, um, if you're curious. You know, so it's completely up to you. Texture is texture. I think it's just your preference. Um, is that it? I feel like that's all I can really talk about. Let me think. Yeah. All the other brushes to create highlight or to do like a rim light, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I will, I'm honestly not the best at it. Oh my God, I forgot one of my favorite brushes. Hold on. So I love Reek's Custom Flat Brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. I just discovered it. I use it a lot for highlights in clothes or in um, for rim lighting. And so what I, I don't know how to describe why I like it so much, but I love the look that it gives. And so let's say I'm trying to do a screen. I don't know. Like it's just, oh, I love it. I love it. So this is the brush that I use for a lot of highlight and um, a lot of rim lighting. And even if I just want to add texture, to a piece, I use this brush so much. It's one of my favorite brushes. It's just your standard, I don't know what this is. It's like a square round brush, maybe? But I use it a lot. Um, let's see if I can find an example for something that I've already created. Okay, and this Cora piece. I used it for the edge here. I used it for the highlight here. I used it right here for this like highlight feature here. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. I use it to highlight her skin. Like that's the flat brush or whatever it's called, Reeks, I don't know. Like I use it all over the place. It's one of my favorite brushes. So I would 100% recommend it. Can you, am I off the screen? Here we go. So again, if you guys didn't see that, cause I think I was off the screen for like two seconds. Um, it is Reek's Paint Flat Brush, yeah. It's just so good. Oh, it's, I just love it. This might be my favorite brush. This brush and Haley Cat's Perfect Brush are my favorite brushes. Um, so yeah, those are my custom brushes. I have a bit more that I've downloaded recently that I wanna try out, like my friend, Bagalia, I actually don't know how to say her Instagram handle. Uh, she released a braid pack, and so I really want to explore and play with it a bit more and um, see how I can use it and incorporate it in my style. I've seen how other people use it, and I think it's so cool. So I'm definitely gonna like try that out and see how I can incorporate that into my style eventually. So out of all these brush packs, which ones do I think are ones you should download and that are worth the money? Honestly, they're all pretty good, but I will say, I mean, I have a couple here that you can't tell that I've downloaded. And a lot of these I don't use, but the ones that I get the most use out of, um, it is definitely Lotus Bubbles brushes, um, Haley Cat for sure, and Reek. Those are my three custom brush packs as of now that I use every single day and every single digital art piece. The rest of these, I'll tap into them when I'm bored. Like this is Blue Satan's, I'm pretty sure. That's it, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it's useful. Stay tuned for the speed paint, whatever it may be. I don't know, I haven't drawn it yet. <laughs> um, but hopefully it's good. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below in the comment section uh please like and subscribe follow me on instagram if you can yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching and happy drawing